Who here is grown up? Anybody? It's a trick question. Have we ever really grown up? I don't know. Brings to mind poem. This is the first poem that I do in my uh, Top Cock talk show. It was very exciting, had wonderful guests. It's called Cry Baby. I am baby. I have hungry. I cry. I have wet myself. I cry. I want toy. I cry. The only time I'm not cry is when I have breast in my mouth. Forty years later, I am baby. The first question I was asked in interview is what's the most important thing your mama taught you? I also like to ask who is a rich man because my papa taught me how easy it is to be a rich man. He said to me, a rich man is a man who appreciates what he has. From mama I learned how much we can change the world and our lives even with the slightest adjustment in vocabulary. If there was one word you could take out of your vocabulary to make the world a better place, what would that word be? Who has a word out there? One word, any word. A word maybe you're not so proud of, but still you use it. Okay, I go first. I have a good one. Maybe uh, someone said it out there already. It's, it's a big word, one I think we hear too much. One evening when I was five years old, a salesman, came to our small house in Rivne. It wasn't a tiny city, pretty nice size, about 200,000 people, but we were a small fish in medium pond. We didn't have money for salesmen, and even as a little kid, I knew it. So as soon as this man comes into the house with a suit a little too tight and a tie a little too short and carrying his brief bag full of papers, I know he's not someone we need in our lives. He was very enthusiastic, and Mama was very kind. And when the salesman came in, Papa was home, or the conversation would have taken place at the door. She poured him coffee and a glass of Hirilka, which is uh, vodka with pepper. He joined Mama and Papa at the table, and uh, opened his brief bag, pulling out papers and telling things I didn't understand. I know that my parents were so agreeable and so polite, he thought he could make a sale. After the coffee and Horilka, it starts to wrap up and he gets the idea. The interaction is drawing to a close, but still the, the let's call it honesty, inside me is I, I can't control it. It could no longer be contained. Mama, I shouted, when is this mudak going to leave? Papa's eyes opened wide. I honestly think that this was the moment I discovered they were blue. Cricket, Mama exclaimed my given name. I looked to Papa. His reaction? would determine my fate. Papa looked to Mama. Mama apologized and showed the salesman to the door. No sooner was it closed than she turned on her heels and marched right up to me, face to little cherubic but consternated face. Cricket Sheila, what was that about? I hate salesmen, I cried. Mama looked to Papa. Papa looked at me. He wasn't angry, nor was he amused, as I thought he might be. He was... Uh, profoundly disappointed, which to me was the worst thing. Tears immediately welled up in my eyes. Mama pulled me close. Krikichel, don't hate. It's too strong a word. I never forgot that moment, obviously. And tonight, 40 years later, I'm dedicating myself to take that word out of my vocabulary. Maybe it was the chill in the air earlier this evening, but it feels a little warmer in the world right now, doesn't it?